Look, if you want to be Christian and believe in Christianity, even if you want to teach it to your kids, that is your right. That's your freedom. You have the right to do that. But you don't have the right to impose your religious beliefs on everyone else who doesn't necessarily think that it's true, who doesn't necessarily believe that. We have the right to not believe in the God you believe in and other ones too, or a different one. We have the right to practice sexual acts with people, consenting adults of either variety, of our own free will. Yes, Richard, I get it, okay? I do. I do. People who are pro-choice are evil, baby-killing, horrible people, and they should all be done for murder. Murder! It shouldn't be allowed. Arrest everyone who has an abortion. Kill them all now! We are pro-life, and we are for the death penalty. Kill them all! Richard, you're being a bad boy again. Gays, lesbians, faggots, dykes, whatever you want to call them, are disgusting. They're against God, they're against nature, they spread AIDS, they're basically paedophiles. They shouldn't be allowed anywhere, they should not be given the same rights, they shouldn't be doctors. Nazis are all gay, all the Nazis were gay. It's about communism, and all feminists are all lesbians and feminists. And the feminism is about just destroying the family, killing babies, as I've already said, and being gay. And it's wrong, and it's disgusting, and they should all be killed. And and God will smite his judgment upon all of you, disgusting people. Ban them all! Atheists are evil, satanic, immoral scum, aiding Islam in trying to promote their horrible, secular, anti-Christian, evil, baby-killing, gay, lesbian, cultural Marxist agenda. It's disgusting. They should all be killed. Somebody drew a picture of something that I find offensive. How dare they? That's disgusting. You should ban that. Ban it all now. This is dis... Th th you should all be killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, if you want to be Christian and believe in Christianity, even if you want to teach it to your kids, that is your right. Religious persecution. Yeah, you've got it down pat. You really do. You, 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 you've, you've got it just right. And... Oh, it is so easy. It is so easy to stereotype and to spread venom and hatred and show the absolute worst in people. It really is. And I'll bet it's a lot of fun, too. But you know what? If that was Christianity, I'd have no part of it. How d Stop persecuting me for my beliefs! Stereotypes, come on. Ad hominem attacks. How d stop persecuting me for my beliefs. Hate mongering. That's what you're doing. You're hate mongering. How d stop persecuting me for my beliefs. If you are going to oppose Christianity, you are an atheist, you have no spiritual life of your own. How d stop persecuting me for my beliefs? You know, I, I, can, I can support you in whatever your belief is, as long as you're not showing hatred towards others. You are guilty of what you are accusing Christianity of doing. Right here. And, and yes, Richard, I get it, okay? I do. I do. But what exactly is it that is causing you so much pain? I mean, you, you know being judgmental? Brother, we are all being judged right now, every one of us. Judging each other isn't the way to do it. In fact, if you see a Christian that is out judging somebody else, they're not being good Christian, are they? They are misrepresenting Christ. And there are a lot of them out there. There is a long laundry list for sinful lifestyles as well. But what you fail to understand is a lot of the problems and a lot of the issues and a lot of the reason people are in uncomfortable situations and they are not 
being as successful and prosperous as they would want to be is because they keep falling into these traps, which we call sin. If you want to continue to live in sin, that's, that's your choice. Although you have to understand that there are consequences. For every action, there is a reaction. There are consequences for the actions and the life that you live. And these consequences are known consequences. You, and when you get into these consequences and you start having to pay the price for the life that you've lived and you start wanting to reach out and, and say, oh, look at me, I'm a victim. You're not a victim because you knowingly sin. If you had no idea that what you were doing was going to lead you down a path where you're going to have an issue, then that's a lack of education. And that's what I'm about, is to try to educate you in saying, look, you're going down the wrong path. You're going to run into issues. And it's just not issues of Christians trying to shine their light, trying to wave the flags in people's faces saying, wait a minute, if you go there, you're going to run into trouble. Because that's what we're all trying to do here. This is not rocket science. Christianity and Christian living is a very simple thing. Very easy to understand, but very hard to implement because it takes self discipline and it takes sacrifice you ain't wanting to have any part of that and go ahead criticize you're showing the worst and you're showing all the hate mongering and it's going to lead you right down a path where you're going to get your ass in a crack And you're going to recognize at the very end that you brought it on yourself, brother. There was enough. You you can you want to play you want to play around and you want to stereotype and you want to spread hate. And that's for all your subscribers too. You're going to bring it on yourself. You can't blame me when you find yourself in deep trouble. Because I tried to warn you. I tried to get you to change your path. So don't come crying to me. I did everything I could to keep you out of hell. And yes, hell isn't just a fiery pit. You could find yourself in hell tomorrow living in a life of hell because of things that you did which you know better but then you get caught oh it ain't gonna happen to me sure just watch it this is Greg Monroe of Holy Ground Ministries calling you on the carpet there Richard straighten up your act you can be an atheist but show the positive side of atheism and stop all this hate mongering and spreading and demonstrating to people just how easy it is to persecute another religious belief. Just because you don't have a spiritual life and you don't see a value in a spiritual life doesn't mean that there is no value for, spirit, for spirituality out here for some of us. Stop disrespecting me, I have the right, this is the foundation of this country, we're built on Christianity, and I have the freedom of all the constitutional rights, and you, you can all go to hell. This is a war on Christianity, it's evil, I told you I was right.